I'm free. Praise the Lord, I'm free. There's no more chains holding me. It's such a blessing. My mind is resting. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm free. I'm free. Praise the Lord. I'm free. There's no more chains holding me. It's such a blessing. My mind is resting. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm free. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory be to the Lamb of God. Uh, let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we come to you right now just thanking you, oh God. Thank you for another day in the land of the living, another day that you have decided to give to us. And we just thank you, oh God, realizing that we know a lot of people are not waking up this morning. They're just not going to make it. But you woke us up this morning, Lord, clothed in our right mind, activities of our limbs, blood running warm in our body, oh God. And we're just so thankful on today, oh God. We ask that you help us today to help us to right in every wrong with you oh god help us to realize our shortcomings and bring them to you oh god in the name of jesus we pray for our children and our family members today oh god we ask that you protect them from that mean man that mean woman that knife that bullet that game member that rapist that murder that danger seen and unseen oh god that car accident protect us on our way to work oh god give us peace on our job oh god give us peace with other people oh lord help us today give us peace in our in our homes with our husbands and with our wives and with our children oh god peace today in the name of jesus and we just thank you we honor you and we praise you in jesus name we pray amen yeah y'all so i was reading today because i read i read out it like i match this you know like the daily book the grace press like i told you with the bible so today i had got about fervent prayer so it's coming from matthews 26 and 44 so I'm going to read it. Matthew 26 and 44 say, uh, so he left then, wait, um, wait, Matthew 26 and 44. So he left them, went away again and prayed the third time saying the same words. Okay, we're going to leave it right there. And, that, and that's talking about Jesus. You know, when Jesus was about to go, you know, they about to crucify him, that uh, he went praying for God to what? Remove the cup, you know. <laughs> but uh, we all know that God didn't remove it. But the part I want to get out of that is this, you know. I want to read this. It say, if you if you feel that a particular matter in your life needs God intervention, do not hesitate to bring it before Him. Uh, remind Him of His promises and ask Him to take care of the situation. Uh, God will never tire of listening to you. If you come to him in the name of Christ, right? Jesus Christ. So I want to just elaborate on that a little bit to just strengthen you a little bit on your day and let you know if that situation ain't changed yet, just keep approaching God about it. Amen. That's the whole moral of that story. What I got out of it. If the thing didn't change, don't get tired of coming to God and asking God to fix it because according to the scriptures is that uh, you can go as many times as you want to God for the same thing, you know, and just because Jesus went third three times, that's what he's saying, saying the same thing, and I'm trying to tell you what he was saying was, Father, can you remove the cup, but you know, God didn't remove the cup, but I'm not going to go too deep for y'all, I just want to keep it right here where I'm saying that if you feel you keep you praying and you praying and things not happening. Just keep calling on God because he's true to his promises. Amen. He will fix. God specializes in fixing the unfixable. Now, I woke up, stirred up, filled up with the Holy Ghost power. You know? But don't pay me no money. You know, I ain't no preacher. I just want to help somebody. I don't just help people with music and stuff. I like to get on here and help you any which way I can. Amen. So listen, I'm going to say this one more time before I go pray over your family. Right? Pray over your children. Uh, husbands, 
pray over your wives. Even if they sleep, just put your hand on them. Tell me today, but Jesus covered them. And the same as uh, cover your children, husbands. You know, you the head. Cover your children. Just go in there and pray for your children. Don't just let them leave out of the, to, to the school like that. You got to cover people. Cover your household. And then if you don't have a husband in the household, then you cover your children. Go pray over them. Don't just let them leave out the house. It's not the day and time where you just leaving out the house. I know I got off topic, but this is what the Spirit got me talking about. So it def definitely is needed for somebody, even me. I pray over my children all the time, even though I'm not with them at the moment because we're in two different states right now. But that won't be forever. You know, I still cover them from wherever I at. So it's the same with you, wherever your kids are. If they're not in your household, you can still pray for them and cover them for today. You know, because maybe you be the only one uh, following the Lord and they not, but you can still cover them because I got scripture for that. Job covered his children all the time because he knew they was acting up. Amen. So Job always covered his children. He always, every morning, he would pray for his children. He said, lest they offended God. Go read it for yourself, but I ain't going to get into all that. I just wanted to encourage you today and say, be blessed in the Lord and know that the Lord love you no matter what. Keep pressing forward. Don't give up. Overcome your trials and your storms. You can do it. I know if somebody like me can do it, I know you can do it. I just got to have a made up mind. So, oh, I want to say this before I go. Show an act of kindness to somebody today. Show somebody that God is real because God used people. He wanted to use you to show that person that what he's real. In excuse me, in Jesus' name I pray. Y'all be blessed and not stressed. Amen.